From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook The Last Observer – A Magic Battle for Reality by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample on the audiobooks page at MarlarHouse.com. The Lord of the Elements wants to change reality. He has enlisted the evil Zeltan to help him, and together they will try to recruit Stanley, a man gifted with incredible, imaginative capabilities to help them. Unless Edward and his friends can stop them, that is. A tale of white and black magic, quantum physics, and a plot that twists and turns. If you like science fiction, fantasy, and horror, you'll love the Last Observer, a magic battle for reality by G. Michael Vasey. Hear a free sample or purchase the title by clicking the link in the show's description. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin has created doubt that Harriet Tubman will replace Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do wonders for the racism conversation. A man died Sunday at the famous Desert Celebration Burning Man after running into the giant wooden structure set on fire. So he actually became the Burning Man. Yep, that'd do it. You can now spend a night in the house where a Christmas story was filmed – $495 a night in the off-season. Meaning it will not be a Christmas story for you. As of last Friday, Americans are now officially banned from traveling to North Korea. It's the only travel ban aimed at a single person, whose name happens to be Dennis Rodman. In Italy, a 63-year-old man was having a mausoleum built at the cemetery in his hometown. He wanted his eternal resting place to be just right, so he made frequent visits to make sure that the construction crew was building it exactly to his specifications. On his last visit, he climbed up a ladder to get a closer look at the top of the mausoleum. That's when he slipped, hit his head on a marble step, and fell dead into his tomb. Well, I guess that saves money on renting the hearse. A Seattle therapy group for kids is putting the hammer down on the usual questions like how do you feel and why aren't you doing your homework. The group, Wheelhouse Workshop, instead uses Dungeons & Dragons to get kids and teens to open up by playing characters in the game. Parents of the children say it works extremely well, right up to the point where you tell them it's time for a bath and they try to do a saving throw. LeVar Ball and his family are set to star in a reality show called Ball in the Family. Begging the question, who the heck is LeVar Ball and how did he get his own reality show? Thinking about getting a pet? Did you know that the most expensive household pet to keep is not a dog or a cat but actually a tortoise? The animals can live for more than 75 years, and during that time they would set you back about $36,000. Plus, there's the increased stress of trying to get him to pick up the pace when you take him out on his leash. The execution of a death row inmate in Texas was delayed because of Hurricane Harvey and has been moved from last week to December 14th. Proof that hurricanes are evil. They kill others while saving the life of those scheduled for execution. A new study indicates 15 percent of office email is gossip. The average corporate email user sends 112 emails every day. Of those, about one out of seven is gossip, according to a study by research at Georgia Tech. When you say gossip, most people immediately have a negative interpretation, but it's actually a very important form of communication. Even tiny bits of information, like Eric said he'd be late for this meeting, add up. Okay, I don't think I'd count a message of Eric is going to be late as gossip, though. But I'm shocked that we sent an average of 112 emails every day? Seriously? How does that leave time for Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube? L'Oreal has fired their first transgender model after she posted on Facebook that all white people are racists. And it's amazing how those who scream that they should be accepted are quick to label and condemn everyone else. In Ukraine, a burglar broke into a church to steal gold fixtures. That's when the plan fell apart. It seems he fell asleep and got locked in the weekends-only facility for five days, surviving on the only liquid available – sacramental wine. Five full days in a church to contemplate your life before God and think about the wrongs you've been doing. Sounds like a fitting punishment to me. Angelina Jolie showed up at the premiere of her new movie, 
First They Killed My Father, which she directed, produced, and co-wrote, in Colorado with all six of her kids. Everyone was well-behaved in the beginning, until her kids had to tell Angelina to stop kicking the seat in front of her. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. To become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be a part of the notification squad. While you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you are an official weirdo.